Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. We are participating in a collaboration hosted by Corey from Cooking with Corey and Alicia from Best Bites Forever. The name of this collaboration is hashtag Easter Leftovers. There are several other awesome YouTubers participating as well. They are Lee from Smoking Bears, Gary from GT's Barbecue and Cuisine, and Risa from Recipes with Risa. I'll be sure to leave their channel links in the description box so that you can check out their recipes as well. So let's get started. So the Easter leftover recipe that I wanna share with you guys today is an old recipe that I found in a cookbook years ago from the 1970s. It is called Baked Deviled Egg Casserole and it is absolutely delicious. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So you are going to need some hard boiled eggs, some cheddar cheese, some pimentos, onions, green bell pepper, cream of mushroom soup, and sour cream. So the first thing that we're gonna start off doing is to peel our eggs and cut them in half. So let's get started. All right, I've got my boiled eggs peeled. As you can see, some of the dye bled through to the egg, but it's okay. We're gonna put stuff on top of that and it'll be covered, it'll be totally fine. All I'm gonna do is just slice my eggs in half and then I'm gonna put the yolk in this bowl right here. All right, so I've got my egg yolks here and I'm just gonna smash them a little bit. And I'm going to add in some sour cream. So, you know, traditionally deviled eggs, you add in mayo. Um, this recipe calls for sour cream. So I'm gonna add my sour cream in and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and I'm gonna stir it until combined. Okay. And so here is what your mixture is going to look like. I'm gonna set this aside and start working on the gravy portion of this dish. Okay guys, I've got my skillet um, on a medium heat here. I have some butter that's melted down. To that, I'm going to add my bell pepper. and my onion. And I'm just gonna let this cook down until it is nice and tender. Okay, bell peppers and onions are cooked. To that, I'm going to add in my pimentos and my sour cream and my cream of mushroom soup. Okay, and now I'm just gonna grab my um, 11 by seven casserole dish that I did um, spray with cooking spray and I'm gonna put half of the mixture on the bottom of this casserole dish and just spread it out. So now I'm going to stuff my eggs and then lay them on top. Let me just scoot this out of the way. I've got my eggs here. I've got a little spoon and I'm just going to stuff away. And I'm just gonna spread the rest of the gravy type topping on top. Just gonna drop it over. And just gonna sprinkle some cheese on top. I like this recipe because one, it's low carb, and then also it's vegetarian. And even though the ingredients are a little non-traditional, this is you know a really unique recipe, it's so good. Don't knock it until you try it, it's really good. The original recipe calls for mustard, so when you um, add in your sour cream and salt at the beginning to the egg yolks, the original recipe calls for mustard, but 
I, um, of course I didn't add it in, but if you want to, if you want that twang, definitely add it in. And it calls for two, I think two teaspoons of mustard. So, all right, so this is all ready to go. I'm gonna pop it into my oven for about 20, 30 minutes until the cheese is nice and melty. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I will be back. Okay, so here is the casserole hot out of the oven and I ended up baking it for 25 minutes. And if you'll notice, the yolk has kind of expanded. So it does puff up a bit when you take it out of the oven. So let me plate this up how we eat it and I will be right back. All right, so this is how I serve the casserole. I just serve it over some simple steamed rice. I happen to be using jasmine rice and I've got two halves on there. And this is such a quick and easy recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Definitely make sure you check out all the other YouTubers that have created some awesome Easter leftover videos as well. I'll make sure to leave their channels in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.